Hey everybody, welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. So in a recent video, I broke the news that the Air Force is sending me to Inserlik Air Base in Turkey for 12 months. That is going to have sweeping ramifications for the Soap Thing Project. The reason why is because even if I wanted to send my entire collection over to Inserlik Air Base and use it, that would be untenable. There, there's no way I could actually do that. However, all is not lost. What I decided to do was take each of the months that I was going to be gone, from June 2022 until May 2023, and I assigned them a theme or a category, if you will. And within those categories, I picked two soaps, I put them together, and then a coin toss decided the winner. Now the shaving soaps that made it into this group of 12 have been dubbed the chosen ones. What does that have to do with this video? Well, I guess you could say this is my top five non-selectees, the ones that didn't quite make the cut. And this list is going to be in order of precedence, with number one being, I cannot believe I'm leaving this behind. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five shaving soaps that I will miss the most. Okay, let's bust open this list with number five. Number five is McDuff Soap Company Cream Soda. This is the only soap on this list that's made in Canada. The rest are made in the USA. And this is a collaboration between McDuff Soap Company and the Razor Company. And the scent on this is really, really good stuff. It's raspberry, nectarine, pineapple, blackcurrant, vanilla, and musk. And it's supposed to smell exactly how it looks. It's supposed to smell like cream soda. And the notes come together to a point where it really does smell almost exactly like cream soda. With one important caveat, there is no effervescence to this at all, like none. So it smells like a very flat cream soda, if we're being honest. Even still, this soap is an incredible scent, strong scent strength, and I really, really love using it during the spring and summer months, and I'm gonna be sad not to be able to use it while I'm gone. Number five, McDuff Soap Company Cream Soda. Number four is a soap that is pretty simple in its scent character, but the way the notes come together, I think smells pretty good. It's Katie's Bubbles Siberian Sunrise. And this one is just cubeba, tea tree, and peppermint with a little bit of colada in it. And this soap, I actually took a risk on it. I bought it used, thinking, oh, I might like it, I might not. But when I got it, it's actually really kind of brisk and crisp smelling. It's got this kind of after dinner mint smell with the uh, peppermint and the tea tree. It kind of, kind of gives it this creamy peppermint sort of smell really good stuff for us for a simple soap I'm really surprised how much I ended up liking this it's really really good stuff number four Katie's bubbles Siberian sunrise number three is coming at you directly from Murphy and McNeil this one is Gale lock and this is Murphy and McNeil's dupe of Creed Viking it's a damn good one in my personal opinion this one's all lemon pepper rose peppermint and sandalwood and the scent character on this, put it this way. Suppose you took Old Spice and put it through college. You sent it to Oxford or Harvard. It would come out smelling like this. It's a very elegant and sophisticated, almost white collar take on an Old Spice type scent. Does it smell remarkably close to Old Spice? No, but it's in that kind of neighborhood where it's a very mature, slightly spicy, pepperminty, citrusy, floral sort of thing, just like Old Spice is. Just kind of a different different direction on that kind of scent category. Excellent stuff though, I love using this. 
So number three, Murphy and McNeil, Gale Locke. Okay, number two is a soap from Heritage Hill. And this is an example of a soap that when I bought it, I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't think it was gonna be this good. And it, and it is, it's Heritage Hill Sovereignty. And this is a tea scent, black tea, bergamot, cedar, jasmine, and patchouli. And the way this comes together is just so brisk and crisp and refreshing. The tea scent on this, it's hard to describe, but it's just so pleasant smelling. It's a perfect spring and summer scent, in my personal opinion. It's a really refreshing scent. It's just really a pleasure to use, much more than I thought it would be. Heritage Hill Sovereignty at number two. And now we have number one. This is actually gonna surprise a lot of people, I think. It's Timeless Etheria by Shannon Soaps. And you wanna talk about a scent that I'm gonna miss while I'm gone, this is gonna be the biggest one. I cannot believe, cannot believe I'm not taking this with me. Let's smell it. This is one intoxicating soap. It's all bright citrus, it's got florals in it, it's got amber in it, it's got sandalwood in it. It's kind of complex, but once you smell it, oh my god, you're gonna fall in love with it. I, I don't tend to overtly tell people to go buy things. You might seriously consider checking this out because it is amazing. I, it just blows my mind why this isn't on more people's shave of the day photos and videos because it really is an incredible scent and I'm gonna miss this one a lot. Timeless Etheria by Shannon Soaps at number one. Now this list was mostly about scent. I didn't talk about the soap base really at all. And the reason for that is when it comes down to where the rubber meets the road, all five of these perform pretty amazingly. I mean, you're not gonna have issues lathering or using any one of these five. But the scent, I'm telling you, it's gonna be so tough existing for a year without these. But you have to draw the line somewhere, and this is where it had to be drawn. So that'll be the video for today. I hope everybody enjoyed the list. This is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it with all your favorite stuff. Thanks for watching.